Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can take an animation, a complex keyframe animation, and control it using a single slider. So let's begin a couple of steps earlier. This is my animation. If I open up the timeline, you will see that I have keyframes for every single letter, except for the first one, which doesn't animate. And they're just moving to the right, and I have some booleans here to just uh, obscure them when uh, they are not visible yet. And this is it. And in real time, this is how it looks. And it loops again and again. And it's only 50 frames. What I want to do with this now is find a way to consolidate all this so that I can control this animation with a single slider so I can retime it and I can do all sorts of other things. And the solution is rather simple. Let's close the timeline. I'm going to create a null just to keep everything here. Let's name it. And I'm going to grab everything. Control A, Control click to deselect the animation. And let's drag everything in here. Now I'm going to close this because we don't need to see it anymore. And I'm going to create a cloner. I'll make this a child of the cloner. And I'm going to set the cloner to be in any of the modes as long as I create only one clone. Now let's go to the transform and this is the secret source and change the animation mode to fixed and you will see now that this animation doesn't play anymore and that is because now the animation control has been surrendered to effectors. So I'm going to go to MoGraph and bring up a plane effector Make sure in the parameters you don't have the position unless you want to, but you do have to go to the time offset and set the maximum animation value. For our animation, it's 50 frames. And suddenly we see the end of the animation. Now let me go and increase my frames here to 150. And when you go to the effector now, the strength of the effector will control the animation. And that's just about it. This is now a single slider that can control your animation. Now there are a couple of things I need to tell you here. Let's first add some keyframes. So at, at frame zero, I'm going to set the strength of my effector to zero and I'm going to go and retime it. I'm going to make this now 110 frames and let's go to frame 110. Let's make this 100% and add a keyframe. Now if I rewind and press play, you will see that something funky is happening here. And uh, the reason is that there's a minor glitch, which Maxon is aware of and is going to fix, that causes this weird behavior. And this is just because in this particular case, we have the booleans that happen not to refresh. And uh, the solution is quite simple. You can either go to the cloner and change the instance mode to render instance. In that case, everything is going to work fine. You can see everything's animating fine. Or if you don't want to do that for whatever reason, just go and find all the booleans, select them all, and just go to the selections and turn on the intersect edges. And this will force an update so you won't have any problems with the refreshes. But in any case, it works. Let's get rid of that. Let's rewind. Let's press play. And you will see that now the animation is controlled by that effectors strength. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.